Hello, it's Alina at Overly, and today we're going to look at our newest integration with Sketchfab. First of all, Sketchfab is an online platform where you can download various three-dimensional assets and implement them for your augmented reality experiences and also use them on Overly Creator. So a lot of people that register on our platform are not actually content creators, are not familiar with the creating 3D assets. So instead of maybe hiring a freelancer or a creative team to develop these assets, there is a chance that you can find something that's useful and uh, really applicable to your business need just by scouring through uh, stock 3D models similar to using uh, stock images or stock videos. So yeah, if you go into Sketchfab, just so you are familiar with the concept, you'll see there is a lot of different types of uh, assets that you can have. Once you click on them, you'll see 3D models and also their pricing. Currently, Overly has integrated only with the free asset, just so there are no surprises with added costs on your monthly billing or subscriptions. So you can freely test the platform, pick any of our uh, Sketchfab assets and uh, you know, your uh, monthly billing is just going to stay the same. So let's just go over to the creator itself. If you've seen some of my previous tutorials or have used Overly Creator's 3D editor before, you know, will notice that we have changed the layout. So now straight away, once you go into 3D Creator, you can pick whether to add a 3D object or upload your OpenSea NFT. By the way, if you're into uploading OpenSea NFTs, you can check out the blog that I will link below uh, with all the details. I'm not going to showcase it today, but it's, it's just a simple copy paste uh, action there anyway. But let's look at adding 3D object. So once you click on this option, you will be able to either search an asset from uh, Sketchfab or upload your own. In terms of searching one that you want, all you need to is to add a keyword. So for example, let's search, let's search for a book. And here you'll see various options. Once you open it, you will have a window here where you will be able to kind of explore the model a, a bit more, rotate it. So this is integrating straight from Sketchfab. You can also click uh, here to kind of inspect the model in more detail, view it uh, full screen. And you will also see that there is information about the author. You can link through and go to view these assets on Sketchfab also, or just click here to import the object. Just for testing this uh, project, I will go ahead actually and uh, import one of the objects on this marker image that I've uploaded. So let's go ahead and use this book. And after it's uploaded, I will, uh, that was pretty quick. Uh, I will position it. It's just like with any other 3D asset uh, that you position it, see how it will look on your project. And once you're happy with how it all looks, you just have to click publish. I will show at the end of the video how this project looks, but it's, it's really, really super simple. Um, and I hope uh, you find it uh, as easy as I do. And please leave us a comment or ask us a question below if you have any questions at all about how to use Sketchfab integration or if you want us to add any other 3D stores or 3D asset stores to our list. Thanks.